I got one thumbs up. Woohoo! No, everyone. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? Like I said, I'm eating some strawberry lemonade ice cream by Jack Nicholas. I'm doing good. This ice cream is the bomb. It tastes really good. I like it. Hi, um, Wondrous Creations. This ice cream tastes really, really good, and I would recommend it. Um, I got it. Hi, sweet tea lady. I got this ice cream from the Swan Man. I don't know if you guys have the Swan Man where you, where you are from. Oh, it's be really, but I I believe you could probably get this ice cream in the grocery store as well. But it's strawberry lemonade, and it's really really good. Hi, Kim. I am cold, but I'm eating it anyway, and every time I eat this ice cream, it's hitting my cavity, my, my cavity, but my, um, what is it, my silver filling in the back of my mouth, and it's making me cold. So, if I make a face like, like that, it's because it's hitting, hitting that. So, I can't, I, so, ever since I had to have, um, work done on my mouth, I have problems with cold. Me. So, how's everyone tonight? You're doing good. I'm doing pretty good. It's been a kind of boring day. Not been doing much of anything. I got. I talked to Kim earlier. I. Um. I'm putting packages together. I put like a whole bunch of cards together. Um. Wrote some cards out to people. If you guys want any cards, if you want me to send you guys cards, I can. Just contact me on my Facebook messenger and give me your address and I'll send you a card if you want me to. It says that this is ice cream. But it tastes more, more like a sherbet than like an ice cream. It has a creaminess like an ice cream, but it looks like a sherbet. But then I ate... Made me some dinner. Are you making a cake, Kim? 
That's cool. I made some dinner and I was gonna have a mukbang. Um, I made me some chicken wings and some corn. And I then had, I found some onion rings or something like that. Hi, Charles. And so I cooked them. And ate that. Hey, Kay. It is pretty good. But it keeps on hitting my filling in the back of my mouth. And I... But yeah, it is. It's not a very. <laughs> it's not a very pleasant feeling. It makes me feel like I'm. Having something tart, but I, it's not. <laughs> because I had a really, really huge cavity back here in the hole. I believe they said it was about that big, or maybe about that big. It was pretty big. It's Basically almost as big as the tooth back there and they filled it instead of pulling the tooth and So I have more sensitivity back there on that tooth because it was a pretty big cavity and I wanted them to pull the tooth, but they didn't want to do it so Let's see, what am I doing tomorrow? Nothing. Tomorrow's Saturday. So I probably won't do nothing. I may go out, venture out, and um, maybe go to the Dollar Tree. See if there's anything new. I don't know. Yeah, I basically had all my mouth done. Except maybe one tooth or two teeth. But basically, all my mouth is all cat has um, fillings in my mouth. I was trying to think of like topics we could talk about, or just things that we could talk about in general. Oh, really, Kim? That's cool. Hi, Winnie. How are you? They got everything about... I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe, like, like, now maybe we could talk about what, I don't know, what we like to do when Yeah, hopefully, Kim. What, um, you like to do as a child? Like, 
what fun things you like to play. I don't know. Like when I was little, I always played house. Who's the most famous person anyone met? I am. I got to meet um, Dolly Parton's um, Oh, uh, oh, that's cool, Winnie. I met Dolly Parton, um, uh, like, fam, like, family, like, um, her brother... And that's why I didn't get to meet. Did I get to meet her? I don't think I got to meet her, but I met her brother and stuff. And then I met um some guy that was used to be on an old game show. But he was in a play, and he was on a play, in a play, um, but he was on, like, some game show. I can't remember his name. I've been to Dollywood so many times. And then, and then, um, what else I got to meet? And then I went to a concert and met, um, I forget her name because of my brain injury. But I went to a concert and met this, um, girl. And she used to sing, um, that, um... I believe Bebel, uh, I can't think of it. I know I have it. Hold on. I have my CDs here, and I'll tell you who the person is that I got to meet, because I have my, ah, I have all my CDs here, and I'll tell you who it is, if it's in here, if it's not in here, then. I can't, but I'll tell you who it is because I went to go see her with my ex, and um, it may not be in here. I love Tracy, Tracy Chapman. 
I love her. Have you guys ever heard of a band called Once in Future Kings? Have you ever heard a band called that? Once in Future Kings? That band is my cousin's band. Um, they played music. Um, and they made their own band I here's her CD, but I didn't put her name on here. Here's her CD, but I didn't put her name on here. It's um Kaleidoscope Heart. It's from 2010. Um, that is her CD, and that's the person I went to go see. Hi, P. Day. And, um, but that is the person I went. That's my first concert ever. Was, um, I forget her name, but she does Kaleidoscope. That, um, is a person that I went to go see. I have tons and tons of CDs. I need to get a CD player so I can play them. the Spice Girls. I've had this CD like forever. Like, yeah. What time is it there, Rennie? One PM. Yeah, I have like a lot. 
This was my favorite person. I love um, Bob um, Carsley. I think that's how you say him. And I love Butterfly Kisses. This was like my, my maybe my first CD I ever got when I was about I don't know how old I was maybe 12 I don't know how old I was but this was my like very first crit like I think it was I think it's country or Christian but this was my very first um, CD that I got and that's why I love butterfly so much but I love butterfly kisses and so yeah Hi, um, Jennifer. And then I also like the song, um, I think it's called Stairway to Heaven or, or something. I think it's called, I think it's called like Stairway. Stairway to Heaven or something, but it's about it's it's about the guy um, lost his son through a tragic accident and he wrote this song in See You in Heaven I like that song too oh yeah, and I also like um, Josh Gordon I'll tell you tell you uh, this story um, that also goes along with my um, when my surgical um, error ha occurred I loved listening to him and I loved listening to um, oh, let me get this song because I haven't listened to this song like forever so I need to find it. Um, it was the song. Oh, it was called, the song was called Ra You Raised Me Up. And I used to love that song and I would listen to it all the time. And, um, hi Rebecca. And it was always, it's called You Raised Me Up. It's a Christian song and I would sing it all the time. Well, when my surgical error happened... All my sisters got together and were in the car singing You Raise Me Up during while I was in surgery and while they were trying to fix me and they were coming to visit me. Um, it was either w when they were life flying me from one hospital to another and, and I believe also while I was in surgeries. Um... And, and things like that. And I've always loved that song. But I have like... But I love that song. It's, it's, it's like so like... In, inspirational.
Yeah. That song, like, You Raised Me Up. Oh, thank you, Manny. That song, You Raised Me Up, it always makes me cry. Too. Oh, really, Winnie? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I think I am. I think I'm here to, like, tell my story and to... to Tell that God is real, and He does save lives, He does heal, and He does bring people back to life. And there are there that are gonna say, that are gonna laugh at it and say that I'm crazy, whatever. But they can do that. But I know. That there is, and that's just all that matters. Mm. Yeah. We all have, um, guardian angels, um, and that guide us and, and things like that. Mom always believes that she has a, a car angel that tells her when her car is messed up and she always says she has, um, different angels for different things. And angels to protect us, to protect our children. And she says she has angels that protect her children, angels to protect her home. And she says she has angels that protect her vehicles, and and angels that are just around us. Winning, you probably won't get over it because, um, what you've been through with your son is a traumatic event, and you probably got a little bit of PTSD from it. See, Winnie, what happened to me was when the surgical error happened and they had me at the one hospital, 
That night, they wanted to airlift me to uh, CAMC, but they couldn't because I was in such critical condition. Um, and I had lost all this blood, and I was in such critical condition. So they had to wait, like, a day or so to see how I was. And plus, they needed to get and have an open bed. So I had the surgery like on a Friday, so they had to wait until like a s Sunday, and so then that's when they airlifted me, cause they couldn't that night cause I was in such critical condition. Yeah, I lost 22 pints of blood, and I had to have, um, like, a lot of blood transfusions. Yeah, I'm gonna put my CDs back. I'm gonna bring you guys up here. I'm gonna put my CDs back. <laughs> And I will be right back. Hold on. Be a big. Anyway. Anyway. I think I'm going to get off here. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I never heard that. Many Maccas. Hey, I want some Maccas. <laughs> hey, Wars of the Stars. You got Burger King Hungry Jacks. <laughs> what do you guys, what do they serve there? Like, is the food, I wonder if the food is different at McDonald's in, in Australia compared to the McDonald's here, like in the United States. Do you guys serve like kangaroo burgers? Ooh, what kind of cake, Cam? I'm gonna kill that stupid mosquito. Really? Cause some 
different countries sometimes sell different things. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Ooh, that sounds good. I haven't had, like, lemon cake in a while. Which, mom's not a big lemon lover. I remember... <laughs> I remember uh, one time I was making chicken. And I was making, like, a lemon chicken. And she didn't like it. She's like, this has too much lemon in it. I don't like lemon chicken. And ever since then, she she does not like it. At, she don't like anything lemon at all. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. Bunt kick. Okay, Renny, thanks for stopping by. Is it somebody's birthday, Kim? Oh, well, that's cool. I like I like the vanilla cake with like the rain like the rainbow um, sprinkles in it. I want to try one of those tie dye cakes where you um, I know you can um, you can buy them in the store, and I'm gonna see if I can find one next time I go to Walmart and. It's actually a tie-dye cake, and it's a kit, and I'm going to try to make one and do a video on it. I haven't seen Danielle, Beth. Did you get a hold of her? Kim, earlier, um, Stacy the Sparkling Star, um, blocked Danielle. Danielle comes, um, on here a lot.
But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here because I am getting tired. And, um, I will talk to you tomorrow. And, um... And tomorrow, maybe I'll think of a video or an, a live stream that we could do. I will, Kim. <laughs> yeah, I did. I actually banned my mom. <laughs> Bye.